God's righteousness has been given to us. Romans chapter 3 verses 22 to 24. Even the righteousness of God through faith in Christ, in Jesus Christ, to all and on all who believe, for there is no difference. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. As we continue to unravel this amazing truth of our righteousness in Christ, the Bible tells us here that the righteousness of God, so this is the very nature, righteousness is an aspect of God's nature. And that aspect of God's nature, the righteousness of God Himself, has been given to us. Now, to begin with, as verse 23 says, we've all sinned, we've all fallen short of the glory of God. But that verse is actually sandwiched between two amazing verses that tell us that in spite of our sinful standing, God has done something for us. He has given to us His own righteousness his own absolute purity, his own state of, uh, of, of uh, faithfulness, truthfulness, and what is consistent with his own nature, he has now blessed us with. But how have we received it? These verses tell us that it has come to us through faith in Jesus Christ. Secondly, it tells us we have been justified freely by his grace. That means we have received it freely. And third, it is through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. So we've received it by faith, we've received it through grace, and it has been made possible for us through the sacrifice of Jesus Christ on the cross, through the redemption of Christ, of the price He paid on the cross. But here's what I want us to understand, that God has given His righteousness to you and me, and we have received it simply through faith, by grace, and because of the cross. You have received the righteousness of God. It is to all and on all who believe. It's been given to you, it's on you. So, when you and I, when we see, when we see ourselves standing before God, when you go in prayer, or when you're making a petition before God, or whatever you're serving God, you need to see yourself as somebody who is the righteousness of God. It's on you, it's been given to you. Many times when we try to serve God, we feel we are unworthy. We are all unworthy in, in the sense that, you know, we've, we've, we started out as sinners, but He has given to us His righteousness. You live out of that, knowing that you are accepted and approved in the eyes of God. You are the righteousness of God. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that the righteousness of God has been given to us and is upon us through faith, by your grace, and through the redemption in Jesus Christ. Thank you for providing this for us, Father. Help us to understand it and to receive it and live by it. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.